up, what's up? You guys miss me. I know you guys have missed me. I have missed you guys too. I'm back with another two cent my thoughts and opinion video. You guys stay tuned. Let's get it popping. I am back. All right, let's first start off with talking about Lil B speaking at a college. What is this man expecting from this Little B lecture tonight? It's going to be rare, historical, <laughs> and above all, based. He's speaking at NYU because he's an uh, expert in the progression of humanity. It's going to be legendary. That's all I got to say. It's so rare. Can I swear? Let me let him fuck my bitch. A lot of them. But Lil B is going to revolutionize anything you ever know in your life. It's going to transcend your minds and your spirits. I'm not expecting much, but thank you, Bass God. The future, you know, so y'all gonna be helping me. You know? What's the qualifications for, you know, speaking at a college? Because I didn't even think that Lil B was qualified to speak at a college. If I wanted a rapper to come and speak at my school, I wanted to be somebody like Jay Z, Ludacris, David Banner, you know, somebody who could probably teach me something. Not somebody like Lil B who raps about being a bitch and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Lil B talk about, you know, random stupid shit. What could he say to a college? Stooling to inspire them. I'm kind of lost on why they picked him. Yeah, I'm not hating on him. Get your money, but Lil B, like, seriously? What the fuck kind of bootleg school is this? But, whatever. Do your thing. Next thing I want to talk about is uh, Precious Way, Soldier Boy's cousin. Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Precious. And yes, I am the next big superstar. Okay, Precious White is Soulja Boy's cousin on his mama's side, not his daddy's side. I'm, I'm kidding um, Soulja Boy on his daddy's side. She kidding Soulja Boy on his mama's side. Anyways, um, Precious White is a new singer signed to S.O.D. Money Guy, and she signed to her cousin label. I had a little run-in with Precious White a couple months ago. A lot of you guys have been sending me tweets, asking me what I thought about, you know, Soulja Boy's um, cousin music and shit like that. And I decided to give it a listen to give you guys my opinion on what I thought about it. Well, after I listened to her music, I noticed that she could not sing, she could not dance, and her music was terrible. So I went to my Twitter page to let everybody know what I thought about it because I did think her music was horrible. I thought she was a pretty girl, but I didn't think that she was that talented. And I said it on my Twitter page. Well, Precious got a little offended by what I said. The first tweet that Precious sent me was that um, if I didn't like her music, then I should listen to it. She's right about that. Then she sent me a second tweet, and the second tweet she called me a hater. Okay, first off, Precious, I really suggest that you keep it pretty with me. Keep it cute. You don't want to go there with me, Shorty. You know what I'm saying? Y'all know I respect the females. I don't talk to women any kind of way. I love you ladies, but Shorty, Keep, keep it cute, keep it sweet, keep it pretty. You know what I'm saying? Let's not get ugly. You know what I'm saying? You don't have to call me names. You don't have to call me no motherfucking hater. First off, Precious, you need to learn how to take some criticism. You cannot sing, you cannot dance, and your music is horrible. I am not going to be the only motherfucker to tell your ass that. And you signed to SOD Money Game. When you sign to SOD Money Game, that means you're going to go nowhere quick, nowhere fast. You know what I'm saying? Like, you have not made it. You ain't even made it out of Atlanta, Georgia yet. Don't nobody even know who the fuck you is. You need to get all the support that you can fucking get instead of trying to make enemies out here by calling motherfuckers hate. Shit, trying to call me a motherfucking hater. The only thing I hate is the way your ass sing. I'm 17, going through a lot of things. Some people have never seen. Suddenly, whatever it means. Work is the only kiss to survive Yeah, I try to keep my head up. I don't think I hate is how you dance. You know and that's that's all I gotta say about pressure. You know what I'm saying? Like shouty, keep it cute, keep it sweet, keep it pretty. I don't know you, you don't know me. Alright? Alright, the next thing I want to talk about is Chris Brown, his girlfriend, and Rihanna. Alright, let me say this. Okay, first off, we all know that Chris Brown and Rihanna is fucking. Like, that's understood, right? Everybody know that. That's nothing to discuss. You know, just listen to the songs they did together. You know what I'm saying? But not only that, a couple of my homeboys went to Rihanna's 24th birthday party. Mm -hmm. And they told me that at the birthday party, that Chris Brown and Rihanna was cut up kissing like they seen them kissing like it, it's not a rumor like they seen it with their own eyes you know and that's crazy to me because you know what i'm saying 
I know that Chris Brown girlfriend want to believe that everything that he say to her. You know, and I respect that. Like, I love women who go hard for their men. The whole entire country is telling her that she look like a goddamn fool, but she don't give a fuck because she believes in what her man got to say. And I can respect that. I love girls that don't believe in bullshit. They don't listen to bullshit. You know what I'm saying? They go hard for their man. But she got to be a dumbass not to see that them motherfuckers are still fucking. You know, and then they doing songs with each other, which means they sending each other checks. You know what I'm saying? And I do like the songs that they did together, but I just don't think it's necessary for them to work together. I don't think that's needed. But, you know, you got to know they fucking. You know, and Chris Brown, man, I think he's real scratched out or something because Chris Brown is getting very skinny. I heard that Chris Brown like to smoke a whole lot of weed, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, I'm not mad at that because I know a lot of niggas who rather smoke weed than eat. You know what I'm saying? I think Chris Brown one of them niggas. That nigga smoke a whole lot of weed. And it's really starting to make an effect on him because that motherfucker getting skinny as hell. Have y'all seen him lately? Like, I, I know he, he's not healthy. It's, it's something not right. But I really think that Chris Brown might just be stressed over being in the music business. You know, he got to be stressful to be a celebrity. So I think that's what making him lose all that goddamn weight. But the motherfucker looks sick. He do. The next person I want to talk about is Diggy Simmons. Diggy Simmons is very upset about the fact that his album is not selling. You know what I'm saying? Like, I mean, if you look at a whole bunch of people, like, Reasonable Doubt. Like, when that first came out, that wasn't anything. You can look at Jay now. You know, you can look at Bruno recently. You know, like, when his new option hooligans came out, like, 50,000 first year can end up going down flat. So it's about growth for me. You know, and I'm happy that the people who are listening to it are, are loving it. And, you know, it's like having an, an impact, you know, on their life and making them want to aspire to be, you know, whatever it is that they want to be, because that's what Unexpected Arrival is about. It's about making your arrival in life special, you know? Well, Diggy, I don't think that you should be that upset because I don't really think that people really care to hear any kind of music from you. I do know that the ladies love you because they think you cute. You can rap. You know what I'm saying? I think you do got swag and all that. But dude, man, nobody really care to hear music from you as of right now. I think as you get older, people will be a little bit more open to hearing your music. But as of right now, I don't see people wanting to listen to your music. So you shouldn't be that upset that your album isn't selling. But you are a good rapper. You know what I'm saying? You are marketable. So I think you're going to be around for a while. So, you know, don't worry about that, man. You, you, you know what I'm saying? You, you talented. You're going to make it. It's cool. The next person I want to talk about is Bobby Christina Houston. When I tell y'all, when I heard that Whitney Houston died, I could not believe it. I was like, hell no, man. God, please do not take Whitney Houston. Take Soulja Boy instead. Now I'm just playing. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm joking about the Soulja Boy thing. Now I'm only joking. I'm only joking. You know, but, um... Yeah, um, Bobby Christina, um, she's really starting to lose her damn mind. You know what I'm saying? She done went back to smoking weed. You know, she fucking her brother. Um, she doing a whole bunch of stupid shit. She's thinking about doing a reality show, which might be a good or bad thing. And, um, I think that she can sing. She don't sing like a mama, and she don't sing like a daddy either, because Bobby can actually sing, but... I, I mean, she, she do all right. You know, I think that she can make it. You know, I don't know why she have never got her teeth fixed. Like, come on now, Whitney. You should got that girl some braces a long time ago. But I think that um, Bobby needs to slow down. I hope that she got a lot of good people around her to tell her, you know, the good from the bad. Because Bobby be doing a lot of stupid shit. She do. She do a lot of stupid shit. But, I mean, I'm pretty sure she's going to be all right. She's going to be all right. All right. The last thing I want to talk about is A-Rod from S.O.D. Let me tell you guys something. I am really going to have to make a whole entire update video on what's been going on with A-Rap. I've been hearing a whole bunch of shit, and you guys are not going to believe the new shit that A-Rap is trying to do with his career. His career is pretty much dead. You know, I keep hearing that, you know, his girlfriend um, took up a job, and A-Rap is trying to do, like, some songwriting stuff for people. But, um... Yeah, um, y'all ain't gonna believe what he's trying to do with his own personal career. I think that it's crazy what he's trying to do. I don't think that A-Rab been around long enough to do what he's trying to do with his music career. But anyway, I'm gonna talk about that shit in another video. Well, thank you guys for watching my two cent video. I know it was kind of short, but I got some things I need to get into. I'm going to start making a weekly two cent video. I'm going to give you guys a two cent video every single week. Thank you guys for watching. Please continue to support me. Hit me up on Twitter. Follow me on Twitter. And subscribe to my YouTube videos, both of my YouTube channels. You guys holler at your boy later. All right, deuces.